Hello and welcome to Outside Xbox. You're watching Show of the Week. I'm Andy. And I'm Mike. This week I finally booked a holiday. Oh, nice. Where are you going? Uh, Hope County, Montana? I don't know. It's cheap. Looks nice, yeah. Did I mention how cheap it was? I think I've heard of Hope County, actually. Isn't that where the new Far Cry is set? No, I don't think so. It's a relaxing rural retreat. No, I'm, I'm sure. The guy in charge is a doomsday preacher. Uh, fun coordinator. It's like horrible murders on the regs. Are you trying to ruin my holiday? We must atone! No! No! Something is coming. Sorry, Mike, but as relaxing vacation spots go, Hope County in Montana fails on several important counts, mostly thanks to the doomsday cult who run the place. The cult, known as Eden's Gate, is led by the charismatic Father Joseph Seed, who is, shall we say, an unconventional spiritual leader, and not just because he leads services shirtless. Come on, Joe, what happened to no shirt, no shoes, no service? I Due to how the cult has forcibly converted most of Hope County to their cause, the law has finally taken notice. That's where you come in as a deputy sheriff sent in to arrest Seed and shut down the cult, which, if past experience with Far Cry games and their magnetic villains who appear on the box art is anything to go by, is going to be a lot harder than rocking up and flashing your badge. Luckily, your customizable sheriff character has help in the form of companion characters such as Grace, a sniper who can provide Overwatch for you while you go about your business of clearing outposts. Boom, boom, mother Boom, 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 boom. And Boomer, an adorable slash deadly dog that you can bring on side as part of Far Cry 5's animal taming system, known as Fangs for Hire, which lets you recruit an animal to fight on your side like in Far Cry Primal. Also new for Far Cry 5 are proper aeroplanes for traversing the massive open world of Hope County, with the promise of seaplanes that let you land on water and aerial dogfights against the more aeronautically inclined of Father Seed's flock. And in good news for people with friends, the entire Far Cry 5 campaign can be played in co-op mode for the first time. Though I'm not sure if you both get to be Deputy Sheriff. Maybe it's a double dragon deal and at the end you have to fight each other for that coveted role. What we've played of the game so far feels very familiar. It's more Far Cry in a new setting then, but the story hints are intriguing and we're impatient to learn more as the February 2018 release date draws closer. Maybe you can find out more for us on your holiday, Mike. You know, pick up some more clues. Just keep your ears open. And another thing I heard about Hope County is that they were ringing the church bell with a guy's face. Look, you know, like, it's... bong, ow, bong, why? You why does everyone Bell focus me. on the militarised doomsday cult and their atrocities? There's other stuff going on there. It's like what? Like, ooh, fishing. Fishing? If I were to rank all the things I least want to do on my vacation, Mike, fishing is firmly in the top five, right up there with getting salmonella from the breakfast buffet, going on a spider safari, and hanging out with the doomsday cult. I mean, have you been fishing? You have to sit still for ages and touch worms, and even if you win, all you win is an angry fish with a hook in its mouth. That's why fishing in video games, like you can do in Far Cry 5 for instance, is so much more fun and so much less gross. World of Warcraft is a vast online fantasy world shared by millions of people, sure. What can I do for you? But when you're not with your raiding guild doing endgame dungeons for the fattest of loot, you mustn't overlook the simple, peaceful pleasure of waiting for the bobber to make a splash sound so you can right-click it. Come on, bobber! <sighs> Here I am, both levelling my fishing skill and reeling in precious rare items from the watery depths. Like these weeds. Or these weeds. Hey, look, fishing isn't about what you catch, man. It's about patience and nature and tranquility. And look, rogue wizards, I'm trying to fish here, all right? Ahem, <laughs> <laughs> that's better. Where was I? 
You're welcome to join me. When you go fishing in the real world, you have to dress up in gear that's unflattering and unfashionable. In Final Fantasy XV's Monster of the Deep, on the other hand, Noctis and his fabulous royal entourage go angling in the finest of designer threads. And this being a VR experience, it lets you immerse yourself fully in the sport of worm drowning without actually having to go outdoors or touch fish. All right! And also, some of the stuff you'll be trying to catch looks like it can give as good as it gets, so it's a fair fight. Yikes. Regardless, with Ignis in tow, you're bound to get a good meal after you're done. Sorry about it, fish. Commencing fishing. Fishing in near Automata is great because unlike in regular fishing, you have a tiny hovering robot that does all the hard work for you. Like a rumba, but it's cleaning up the ocean floor. Report. Forget struggling with rods and tackle and bait and hooks, just stand near the body of water you want to fish, send your pod in, and then sit back and wait for the fish to come rolling in. Hovering in. Whatever. Report. Just make sure you don't actually eat any of the fish you catch. That is super bad for androids. If that's too easy for you, then why not test the waters in charming farm sim Stardew Valley, where the seafood is as plentiful as the sea trash. When you're not selflessly dredging junk from the waterways of the valley, you need to play a tricky mini-game where you need to keep your green bar lined up with the fish as it tries to break free from the line. It is, how they say, a fiddly bastard. Da ha Ha ha! Yes! So, it's got all the skill of fishing, with none of the risk of muscle strain or being pulled into the wine-dark sea by an unseen creature which drags you to the crushing depths as you claw for air, like I imagine happens all the time in regular fishing. What? Name one fisherman who that hasn't happened to at some point. Exactly. Link's quest in the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time is a stressful one, full of conflict, hardship, and gross eyeball monsters. What it isn't full of, apparently, is any sort of time pressure, as at any point Link can just wander off to the pond by Lake Hylia and spend hours on end catching fish. <laughs> To be fair, fishing here is again much better than fishing in the real world. It only costs 20 rupees to fish for as long as you like, the pond is so teeming with life you never have to wait long for a bite, and a sweet fanfare plays when you actually catch one, something that is notably absent from real life angling. You even get cool prizes for landing massive fish. When I suggested the same scheme for my local fishing spot, they were not receptive, let me tell you. It's like they want fishing to be the worst. Ugh. Now it's time to see what's written in the comments and in the message in a bottle I caught while I was out fishing earlier. I suck. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. Damn it. First up this week, your comments on this video about the video game horror bathrooms in immediate need of a CSI team. It does include a lovely cast iron claw footed bathtub, but also includes a horrifying vision of you lying dead in said bathtub, which ruins the relaxing spa vibe, no matter how many scented candles you've got. Commenter Andy McP is wise to our schemes. He says, You won't get me with the bathtub jump scare this time, Oxbox. I know all your tricks. Oh, that's a shame, Mr. McP. I guess there's no way we'll ever... <coughs> uh, did we get him? 100%. Commenter Bobbin and Guido Show, meanwhile, wants us to try every bathroom in Dunwall and Karnaka, full to the brim with heaps of lightly snoring guards. And someone's nicked off with all the bath salts. Also, if you use the bathroom in the Clockwork Mansion, there is a good chance that the house will reconfigure itself and you'll be trapped in there for weeks. Also, commenter Lachlan Bold points out, Hey, look on the bright side. At least these games have bathrooms. Skyrim? Seriously. In all the time I've spent in Skyrim, I've seen a total of three bathrooms. And they're all in bandit caves, because apparently bandits have higher standards than Jarls. Mm, you'd think Jarls would have better facility. Ooh, unless the throne he's sitting on is actually... Yeah, don't a... finish that thought. 
Instead, let's move on to the comments on this video of Mike and Andy playing The Crew 2. So the key Enjoy thing that. here is that they've added boats and planes as well. What? Yeah, I Does know. that enrage you? No, I'm, are you furious? I'm up for that, no. Are you like, as oh, as I, do, I only like cars. As soon as <laughs> they put other boats vehicles and planes in it, I'm out. Commenter Daniel Edwards with the subtext here. He says, Andy, so they added boats and planes. Mike, uh, yeah. Andy, does that enrage you? Mike, burning internally. No. And it doesn't. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. Because well. as commenter Zionist points out, everyone else at E3, hey, let's do some cool races in the crew too. Mike and Andy, let's ramp into a river and turn into a boat and knife a plane through the Brooklyn Bridge. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Okay, right. Let's get lined up first. And then quick flip. Oh God, that's not yeah, going. Yeah, no, went, went well, <laughs> went well. Okay. Uh, there we go. Oh, nice. That's and pretty then, good. Oh, that and was pretty good. On. All right, and again. Oh no, not again. Not again. That is the kind of hard-hitting game coverage you can only get on outside Xbox. You did hit that bridge pretty hard. Yes, commenter Apex Penguin, meanwhile, felt that. The whole video was stressing me out, like listening to parents argue about driving during family trips. Well, we wouldn't have been arguing if Andy could read a map properly. It wasn't a map. That's it. I'm turning this show around to the comments on last week's show, which, as you'll remember, was all about the Evil Within 2 and its many terrifying milk-coated penguins. Also, what appears to be milk everywhere. What subliminal terror does that relate to? And what's the significance of the penguin? Was it a beloved stuffed toy? A memory of a trip to the zoo? I'm guessing nothing good either way. Commenter Santosh Borgi writes to say, that's definitely not a penguin. Maybe a crow, I think. That's where you're wrong. Santosh. I mean, just look at the wings. And commenter Dan Zephyr writes in to say, I'm pretty sure that's not a penguin. Wings are way too big. The beak. I mean, just look at the beak. And commenter Trismegistus adds, You seem sure it's a penguin. I thought it looked more like a crow. It's a penguin. That classic horror symbol, the pen penguin. Hmm. Books? Whoa, it's like a video game you play with your eyes. Commenter one and only, on the other hand, says, It's like a video game you play with your eyes. I hope you're also playing video games with your eyes. I don't know, have you seen us play video games? It's pretty clear we don't. Unless you're talking about Call of Duty World War II, at which I am monetizably great. Speaking of which, Joshua Thomas asks, Is there a slightly cheaper Kindle version of the Panic Stab method by Jane? That way I can get it quicker and cheaper. The Jane Panic Stab system is available in all formats. We have physical, ebook, iTunes, message in a bottle. I suck. Oh, <laughs> damn it. Fell for it again. <laughs> we have fun. That's it for show of the week, but remember to smash that like button. Whoa, whoa, steady, smash it. Yeah, that's what they say on the internet. But then it will be broken and no one else can use it. Huh, that is true. Why not press the like button gently and leave it in the condition in which you'd like to find it? That is catchier, you're right. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time. Postcard just arrived from Hope County, must be from Mike. Oh, is he having a nice time? Uh, he says, someone rang a church bell with his face. Oh, so, no? Yes?